suppose you are working in a feature branch and you made a lot of changes and by mistake you deleted that feature branch and after some time you realize like you made a mistake and now you want to recover the deleted branch while working in git hey guys welcome back to automation elan i'm your friend suresh today so in this video i'm going to show you how we can recover deleted branch in git so guys i have already created a videos on other undo scenarios while working in git so you can check that playlist and you can refer accordingly so this is my fifth video where i am going to discuss how we can undo deleted branch how we can recover deleted branch while working in git i have given a link for this playlist in the description you can check and watch the video accordingly in git every action everything revolves around commit id only so to recover the deleted branch we need a commit id there can be a scenario where you know the commit id suppose i deleted a branch and immediately i realized like i made a mistake and i want to recover that so i have a commit id available with me on the console and the second scenario can be like you deleted a branch and after few days or you close the console and you don't have commit id now so we will also see how we can recover deleted branch in that case where you do not have commit id handy to explain both the scenarios i am going to work with the sample repository this is sample project and i am on master branch if i check branch here git branch then i have two branches one is a master itself and another feature branch which i have created earlier let's create a new branch over here which we are going to work with and later on we will delete that branch so here i am going to create a new branch called feature 1 and i move to feature 1 branch now as a part of repository i have two files m1 and m2 so let's modify m1 add a few more content like this is from feature 1 branch so that we can make a difference and if i'll check git status we have m1.txt modified let's add it let's commit now um modified m1 and m2 files okay if i'll check log now so i have new commit id generated this is the commit id and this is the commit message that we have given and i'm working with the feature branch and this is pointing to head so this is how we work with feature branch right and by mistake suppose i deleted that branch i deleted feature 1 branch and after that i lose all my work which i have done as a part of feature 1 so let's try to delete feature 1 branch but before that we have to move to some other branch other than feature 1 so that we can delete it so i am on my master branch now and uh, if i use git branch have one capital d and name of the branch feature 1 which i want to delete so here if you notice feature 1 branch is deleted and head in the feature branch was pointing to this commit and if i'll check my branches now so i only have a master and this is the old one that i had created but feature 1 got deleted now it is no more available and i lost all my changes which i have done as a part of feature 1 branch yeah so from here uh, we are going to discuss the scenario so let's discuss the first scenario where i deleted a branch and i have commit id so this is the commit id where the head in this branch was pointing to so this is the commit id which we are going to use so here what we can do is using this commit double four double c we can create a new branch basically we can check out this particular commit so this commit is having all the changes which i have done as a part of feature 1 and if i'll check out this commit i'll get all those changes and i can create a new branch out of that particular commit so what i can do is i can use checkout command with hyphen b flag and give a name of the branch that you want to create now because we are going to restore this particular commit we can give any new name or the same name also so let's give a feature one only and the commit id which i want to check out and create a branch out of it right so i can copy paste the same commit id 
so here i am going to create a branch with the name feature one from this commit and i am going to check out that branch also so here i am seeing a master and after executing this statement i should be moving to feature one which should have all the changes which i have done as a part of this commit yeah we switch to new branch this is the name of the branch and i am on feature one now and uh, if i'll check log now so you can see we have given a commit id double four double c and here we have a commit id double four double c recovered and the, this is the same message that we have given when we were committing the changes right earlier we had a feature new which is old branch and the master and uh, if i'll check branch now so i will have a three branches total master this is the old feature branch and this is the new one which we have restored after deleting so we successfully recovered a deleted branch from the commit id so we deleted feature one and we have a commit id and using the commit id we check out that commit and we created a new branch with the name feature one you can give any other name as well but we created a new branch out of that commit and now we have all the log history and all available over here if i'll check all the branches in this particular repository so we have feature one available now right so that was the first scenario where we recovered deleted branch immediately because we had that commit id so that was the first scenario what is the second scenario second scenario is something like you deleted the branch but you do not have commit id available suppose i close this console or after a few days you are realizing like okay you made a mistake and uh, now you want to recover the branches so we need to understand few other concepts in git so that i'll talk about and which will help us to get the commit id and we can execute this command by giving a commit id that particular commit id and we can restore it but the main thing the main difference is here we have a commit id handy available but the second scenario is about where you do not have commit id handy you don't know where the head was pointing to what was the commit id of that right so my first intention is to get the commit id and then i can execute this command to recover the branch so how we can get the commit id of the deleted branch so let's talk about that so guys to understand second scenario i'm going to talk about one of the feature in git that is ref log so there is a one command in git which is called git ref log reference log so ref log is a less known feature but very powerful if you want to refer something i'll i'll show you how this ref log looks like and what does it contains so basically ref log reference log is a file which contains all our major action that we perform in the repository for example when we switch the branch or we merge we rebase we check out so all these action will be recorded and will be kept in this file so there is a file if you look at the repository so we have dot git contains all the details all the git related details about your repository so in dot git we have a folder called logs if you go inside logs here we have a head so this is a file it does not have any extension let's open this file in an editor and we can take a look what are the details that it contains so if you scroll to right side so here we have all the all the details all the actions that we performed we performed couple of commit operation that i did earlier and then couple of checkout reset command commit where i modified m1 and m2 this is a checkout operation where i moved from feature 1 to master because i wanted to delete feature 1 branch and again i moved from master to feature 1 so this is also the checkout operation each action will have uh, other details like user id and then will have timestamp also and it will also record the commit id this is the previous commit id and this is the new commit id so all these record all these actions will be stored in this file which is available under dot git logs head so as and when i perform any operation this file will get updated for example currently i am in feature 1 branch let's perform some operation let's check out to master branch git checkout master and 
Once I execute this command, here line number 20 will be added with all the details. So let's observe. So here switch to master branch and you can see line number 20 has been added with all the details and this is the action which happens. I was on feature one and I moved to master now. So this file will keep record of all the action that we perform, all the major action that we performed in the repository. So here one thing we need to remember, this file will contains all the information, all the action for last 90 days by default. This can be configurable, we can configure it, but by default it is going to store the action and all other details for last 90 days only. So if you want to refer this file within 90 days, then you can easily get the commit ID. This is our intention to get the commit ID when we deleted our branch, right? So if you are referring this file within 90 days of time, then you can easily get the commit ID or you can also configure this accordingly. So to understand this, let's create a new branch this time if I'll check status. So I have feature one, let's create a new branch with the name maybe feature two. So I move to feature two now and uh, it will not have any changes. Let's modify something maybe M1 again. And just because we created a feature 2 from feature 1 branch, so we are seeing this line. And I'm going to add this is from feature 2 branch. And uh, if I'll check status now, so I have M1 modified. Let's add and commit it. So we are modifying and we are committing so that we'll get commit ID which is very specific to this particular branch feature 2. That's why we are performing commit operation. Okay, so this is my commit ID. Check log and modified M1. This is a commit ID which is starting with 2 to 9 E. So this is the commit ID belongs to feature 2 branch only. And now we need to move to some other branch so that we can delete feature 2. I'm going to master. And here if you notice all the action is being recorded in this file. In the head file. This is called ref log. As in when I'm performing some action. So it's keep recording all these things with all the details. Right. I move to master and now I can delete feature 2. Git branch hyphen D feature 2. Feature 2 is deleted and this is the commit ID where the head was pointing to in feature 2. 2 to 9e is the commit ID. And here also in the ref log if you notice I performed commit operation and then I check out moving from feature 2 to master. So here when I performed commit operation so at that time this was my commit ID and in the next step I check out, I move from feature 2 to master. So this is the commit ID similar to this one. So I was on this commit and then I move to master which is on this commit C992. So basically this is the commit ID which I want to restore. And here I can check branch. So I don't have feature 2 now. Right. And I'm also going to close this console. I don't know what is the commit ID. After few days I realized I made a mistake and I want to recover it now. So simply I'll go and open the ref log. I need to understand the action. I need to be very careful while referring this file. And with respect to the action, I can get a commit ID. So this is my commit ID where head was pointing to. So I can simply copy whole commit ID or some part of it. So I copied and uh, let's go to repository, open git console and simply I can create a branch. I can check out that particular commit and I can create a branch out of it. So git checkout hyphen D and uh, feature name. So let's give a feature to new something and the commit ID which I want to restore which I want to recover. So we switch to branch feature to new and uh, here if I'll check a log. So you can see my latest log is saying modified M1 file which we have given. And this is the commit ID 229E. And this is the same commit ID which we have used. 
229E and head is pointing to this and this is the feature 2 branch which we have recovered and we have given a new name feature 2 new but it has all the changes which were on feature 2 branch what we did we took a reference of ref log reference log and we picked the commit id which i want to restore and using that commit id checked out this particular commit and i created a branch out of it and we successfully restored deleted branch in the second scenario as well so basically in both the scenarios we need to have a commit id in the first scenario we were having a commit id handy but in the second scenario we were not having a commit id handy so we took a reference of this file which keep recording all my action and we took a reference from that we picked the commit id which i want to restore and we checked out and we created a new branch out of it so this was the whole process by which we can recover deleted branches and guys same thing is also applicable to particular commit also for example you reset this particular commit which is starting with double four double c so you can restore that also by referring to ref log so when we recovered a deleted branch so basically we recovered where the head was pointing to in that particular branch right 229e is the commit where head was pointing to so here also we recovered a commit only but this commit is linked with all the previous commits so we recovered this particular commit and we got all of its history so here we recovered deleted branch but basically we recovered this particular commit in the same way if you remove any specific commit any individual commit then you can recover that individual commit also using this concept so here also i can execute command ref log and these are the details these are the records this file is having so using ref log command i can see the same content which we were referring in the head file so ref log will pick all the content all the records and it will show you in the git console and this is the latest commit that we recovered 2 to 9e where we performed checkout operation from master to feature 2 so git ref log will show you the same content over here if you want to learn more about git ref log so we can take help from git manual git ref log hyphen hyphen help so this will take you to git manual and this is a ref log manage ref log information reference log it has so many parameter we can use as and when it is required so you can refer this and you can understand it more about ref log ref log is a very important feature uh, most of the people are not aware about it but ref log comes as a savior when we messed up with the repository that's all guys for this video let me know in the comment section if you have any question or any doubt and i'll see you soon with another great topic in git meanwhile you can refer the playlist and the other topics covered so far on my youtube channel and provide your feedbacks and guys if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you